Hello, I'm Christine Beaton. I'm an assistant researcher in George Chandy's lab in the Department of Physiology and Biophysics of the University of California at Irvine. And in the next two days, I'm going to show you how to prepare TCGF, which stands for T cell growth factor. So for our everyday cell culture, when we do not need a precise knowledge of the composition of the cytokines in the culture medium, what we use is T cell growth factor which is um, super, supernatant from splenocyte culture that contains the required cytokines to help the T cells expand. So the way we prepare this TCGF is when we kill healthy Lewis rats, we uh, take their spleens, prepare single cell suspension, get rid of the red blood cells by lysing them, and then the mononuclear cells we're going to stimulate with concanavalin A which is going to induce the T cells to produce all the required cytokines for their growth. To generate the TCGF, we need to activate the cells. So the way we do it is we're going to add a lectin, concanavalin A, abbreviated as CONA, to our cell culture. So when we add the concanavalin A to our cell culture, it is going to bind to the glycosylated T cell receptor complex. And binding to several complexes at the same time, it's going to do what we call capping. So it's going to aggregate, make a cluster of all the receptors at the surface of the cell. And that's going to induce an activation signal in the T lymphocyte. So after the cells have become activated, they are going to blast, so they're going to enlarge. 